right, kids? Today we get to read the second part of our story, Van Gogh and the Sunflowers. Author and illustrator, Lawrence and Holt, front cover, back cover, and spine. Let's do a little review of the beginning of our story, of our first half. Van Gogh and the Sunflowers. So remember, who's that little boy? That's Camille. Let's see what happens. So we're gonna review. Do you remember what happened here? That's right, Camille is running through the sunflower field. Where is he going? Where is he going? He's going to go help someone. That's right, he's gonna go help his dad get the mail out off the train. And remember what happened? He dropped the mail on the floor, right? And then they met someone. Remember, they met Vincent. And Vincent had no friends, remember? And he had no money. Now, what did the dad and Camille do to help? Do you remember? Do you remember? That's right. They got a bunch of furniture. And Camille brought some flowers to make Vincent feel special. Very nice friends. And then do you remember what Vincent did that was nice? That's right. He made a portrait of the dad. Remember, there's the dad. And Vincent told the dad, don't move, stay still when I paint you. Now, do you remember what happens next? That's right. Vincent wanted to paint the whole family. Do you remember who this lady is? That's right, that's the mom. Who's this man right here? Big brother. Who's this? The baby, right? Baby sister. And who's this? Camille. Now, what did Camille do the next day? You're right. He was so excited because he loved his painting. He took it to school. How did the kids behave? Were they nice to him or not nice? You're right, they were not nice. Look what they did. They made fun of the painting and made Camille feel oh so sad. And what did the big people and the children do to Vincent? Look, do you remember? That's right, they made fun of him. They said to go get a real job. That painting was just plain. Now remember, Vincent is an artist so he was not playing that was his passion that's what made him happy now this is where we're going to start camille sat for hours watching vincent work it was very hot but vincent worked fast he painted the sunflower fields and even the sun itself he is a sunflower man said camille to himself but no matter how hard vincent worked he can never sell any of his paintings. If I had a lot of money, said Camille, I would like to buy them all. Thank you, my friend. Ha ha ha, laughed Vincent. Look at his painting. See, he loves painting the outdoors. He loves bright colors. He loves to make people happy through his paintings. Let's see what happens next. One afternoon, as Camille and Vincent were coming back from the fields, some of the children from Camille's school were waiting. They shouted at Vincent and threw stones at him. Camille wanted them to stop, but what could he do? He was only a small boy. At last, he ran home in tears. <laughs> now, stones are rocks. And you know, rocks are really hard. That must have really hurt him, huh? That's so sad. Listen, Camille, said his father. People often laugh at things that are different, but I've got a feeling that one day they will learn to love Vincent's paintings. Oh, look at that's his dad. See, see here, right here, they're throwing the stones. Can you see the stone? And then here's his dad comforting him, giving him love. He's taking care of his son. He's helping him feel better. He's a good dad. That night, 
night, Camille had a strange dream. He saw Vincent standing in the moonlight, high above the town. Vincent had stuck candles on his hat so that he could see. The sunflower man was painting the stars. Oh, isn't that beautiful? He has to be careful with those candles, huh? Because that's not safe. But I think this is just a dream. So let's just pretend. I'm going to move the page from side to side. So it looks like the wind is blowing. Shh. Turn the page now. Let's see what happens. Early the next morning, Camille was awakened by a loud knocking on the door. Some men from the town had come to see his father. Listen, postman, they said, we want you to give this letter to your friend. It says he must pack up his paints and leave our town. Camille slipped out through the back door. He ran down the street to the yellow house. Now remember, who lived in the yellow house? That's right, Vincent lived in the yellow house. So you think he's gonna go warn him? Why do you think they want him to leave? He's not hurting anyone. There he goes running. They're just some people that are not nice. They forget that other people have feelings. It seemed very quiet inside. Then Camille saw the sunflowers he had picked for Vincent. They all had dried up and died. Camille felt sadder than ever. Vincent was upstairs packing his bags. He looked very tired, but he smiled at Camille. Don't be sad, he said. It's time for me to paint somewhere else now. Perhaps they will let, like my paintings there. But first, I have something to show you. Oh, I wonder what he's going to show him. What do you think? Look at the, the sunflowers. They're not living anymore. That's so sad. I wonder what he's going to show him. You think he has a surprise for him? Let's see. Vincent lifted down a big picture. There were Camille's sunflowers, bigger and brighter than ever. Camille looked at the painting, then he smiled too. Goodbye, sunflower man, he whispered and ran out of the yellow house and into the sunshine. Aw, look at he painted the sunflowers that he brought for him. Remember at the beginning of the story where they were, him and his dad were helping him? Oh, that's so special. Camille's father was right. People did learn to love Vincent painting. Today, you would have to have a lot of money if you wanted to buy one. But now people all over the world go to museums and galleries just to see Vincent's paintings of the yellow house of Camille and his family, and especially the picture of the sunflowers. So bright and yellow, they look like real suns. Oh, isn't that special? Here it talks about Vincent van Gogh, where he was born. Like I said, he was born in Holland a long time ago. And he lived every day to paint because he loved painting. He painted more than 150 pictures. And he only sold one, but he was lonely and he wanted friends. So that made him sad. And that's the end of our story. So I just wanted to say it's really important to be nice to people and to show feelings because Vincent, he was sad and he was lonely, but Camille and his family were there for him and they were his friends. Have a beautiful day. And I hope you enjoyed this story about the wonderful artist, Vincent Van Gogh. Have a beautiful day. And don't forget to smell the flowers. And don't forget. Have fun being you.